हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग डायनामिक्स एंड स्टैटिक्स नाउ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव जस्ट ऑल दिस 13 18 प्रॉब्लम नाउ द प्रॉब्लम इज एक्सटेंडेड इन दिस 13 19 प्रॉब्लम and in this problem uh, it is said that solve problem 13 18 if the suitcase has an initial velocity down the ramp is equal to 10 feet per second and the coefficient of kinetic friction is mu k is 0.2 right so in 13 18 we were given a 40 pound suitcase it was sliding from rest 20 feet down the smooth ramp and we were required to determine the point where it strikes the ground right and how long does it take to grow to go from a to c so we have to determine the location of this point c from this vertical uh, wall right so we have to find this r right but now uh, in the previous 13 18 it was starting from rest now it is starting from some initial velocity va right so i will write that va equals to 10 feet per second right again s not is zero right here s not is zero and at point b the suitcase will travel a distance of 20 feet so the final position will be equal to s will be equal to 20 feet and now we have to find the total time right so from a to b we will say that from a to b the time it will take is let's say t1 and from b to c let's say the time is t2 right so we will find the total time that is the total time will be equal to t1 plus t2 right so now from a to b the suitcase is moving uh, along the ramp which is the linear path right so for that uh, we will we will uh, look into this suitcase and we will uh, analyze it right so as we can see that uh, there will be a normal force which will be acting on this suitcase in this direction right so let's say this is that normal force and the weight of the suitcase will be acting vertically downward right so we will have this weight and if i extend the line of action of this normal force then this weight which is 40 pounds will be making 30 degrees with the with the normal right so now we can resolve this weight into its components right so this will be the cost component right and it will have one another component which will be the sine component right so i can write that this is 40 cos of 30 degrees and this one will be 40 sin of 30 degrees right so now uh, there is a kinetic friction as well in this particular problem there is kinetic friction in the previous problem there was no kinetic friction right so we have neglected the uh, friction in 13 18 problem but now in 13 19 there is some friction between these two surfaces between the surface of the suitcase and this ramp right so that friction will be acting in the downward direction that is in the opposite direction of the motion of the suitcase right so this will be equal to 0.2 times n right and this will be our positive x down the ramp is our positive x and perpendicular direction that is parallel to the normal is the y axis is right so now if i apply the since the suitcase is in motion so we can apply the equation of kinetics right so now if i apply the summation of forces along uh, along y equal to m a y but since the suitcase is not moving along y then the acceleration along y is zero right so if the acceleration along y is equal to zero then the summation of forces along y will be equal to zero so now as we can see that this normal force is acting in the positive y direction so i have to write plus n minus this cos component of the weight is 40 cos of 30 degrees and this will be equal to zero or we can say that this normal force is equal to the cos component of that weight now if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x then we can see that uh, this sign component of the weight is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus 40 sin of 30 degrees minus this kinetic friction which is 0.2 times n and n is 40 
cos of 30 degrees and it will be equal to the mass of the suitcase right the mass of the suitcase times ax so the mass is the weight is 40 pounds so we need to divide it by these uh, g that is the gravity that is 32.2 and we will multiply it with ax right now when we simplify this so this is equal to 13.07 right this left hand side is equal to 13.07 and now if I cross multiply this, so this will be 32.2 divided by 40. This will be equal to AX, right? So answer multiply by 32.2 divided by 40. So this gives us acceleration equal to 10.523. So acceleration is equal to 10.523 feet per second square right so this acceleration will be less than the acceleration value that we have determined in 1318 right uh, since there is a friction force involved right now to find this t1 which is the time taken by the suitcase from a to b uh, we can apply that kinematics equation right that we have just learnt in the previous chapter we can say that uh, we b square first we we need to find the velocity at point b so we can write this equation as v b square equals to v a square which is the initial velocity plus 2 a x s minus s naught and then once we know this v b then we can apply this equation that is uh, v b equals to v a plus a x into t 1 right so from this equation we can find v b so v b square will be equal to v a so v a is 0 uh, sorry v a is 10 now in the previous problem it was 0 right now it is 10 so we will write 10 squared plus 2 and a x is now known which is 10.523 and s naught is 0 and s is 20 right so 20 minus 0 is 20 right and if i take the square root so it will give us the velocity at point b right so the velocity at point b is uh, 10 square plus 2 into 10.523 multiplied by 20 so this gives me 22.824 22.824 feet per second right so this is the velocity of the suitcase at point b now if i put the, uh, this value in this equation right so then V A is a uh, V A is ten, right? So we can write that this is twenty two point eight two four equals to ten plus A X is ten point five two three into T one, right? So now we, from this we can write that uh, this will be twenty two point eight two four minus ten will be equal to this thing that is ten point five two three. T1 and if I divide both sides by 10.523 so we will get the, the time from A to B right so T1 is 22.824 minus 10 divided by 10.523 so this gives me T1 equals to uh, 1.219 seconds so 1.219 seconds now after b the suitcase is uh, following the projectile path right so then we will consider the projectile motion right so now at b the velocity is acting parallel to the ramp like this right and it will have two components right it will have one component should be acting in this direction and it will have one other component will be acting in this direction right so if this is vb right and the ramp is making 30 degrees with the horizontal right then this velocity will be making 30 degrees with the horizontal as well right so now this one will be the cost component this one will be let's say this is vbx and this one will be vby right and at point b we will define our coordinate system right so this will be our origin right so let's say that this is my positive x and this is my positive y direction right at point b this is my origin this is my positive x this is my positive y 
So at point B, the x coordinate is 0 and the y coordinate is 0 since this is our origin. So from this we can say that x naught is equal to 0 and y naught is equal to 0. And now the coordinates of point C from this origin will be along x the coordinate is r right since we have traveled a distance of r from this origin and along the negative y direction we will travel a distance of minus uh, 4 feet right so the y coordinate of point c is minus 4 right so these are the final coordinate these will be the final coordinates of the briefcase at point c so we can say that this will be x and y these are the final coordinates right so now as we know that in projectile motion the vbx component of the velocity remains constant right and if this is constant then the acceleration in the x direction is equal to 0 right so now if the acceleration in the x direction is 0 then we can apply that uh, x is equal to x naught plus vbx into t minus half a x t and from b to c the time is t2 remember right so we will write t2 and t2 right since uh, x is 0 so this will become 0 right and x naught is 0 this is the x naught x naught is 0 so this will become 0 as well right so we will be only left with x is equal to v b x t2 right and now we know that the x which is the final coordinate is equal to r Right, so now we can say that the distance of the briefcase from that vertical wall r is equal to vbx into t2. Right, so r will be equal to and vbx. This is vbx which is the cos component of vb. So we can write that this is vb cos of 30 degrees into t2. And now we know vb. Right, this is t2. vb is 22.824. So this is 22.824. So let's say this is equation A, right? So now in this equation we have two unknowns. So we need to find this T2 from one another equation, right? So we can find this T2 if we use the uh, vertical equation, that is the equation of kinematics in the y direction, right? So now we can write that y will be equal to for vertical motion the y, the final coordinate along y will be equal to y naught plus v b y into t2 minus half g t2 square right so now since y naught is 0 so this will become 0 right and as we can see that this is our positive y coordinate this is our positive y coordinate right so then the v b y is acting in the negative y direction right so i have to write that this is minus this is also minus right and the y co coordinate the final y coordinate is equal to minus 4 right so now i i can write that this is minus 4 minus v b y is the sine component so we can write that this is v b sine of so v b is 22.824 sine of 30 degrees into t2 minus half g is in feet it is 32.2 t2 squared right so now we can simplify it this is minus 22.824 sine of 30 so this is minus 11.412 minus 11.412 t2 and this will be 32.2 divided by 2 is 16.1 right so this is minus 16.1 t2 square and this is equal to minus 4 and now if i bring this minus 4 to the other side so it will become plus 4 right so here we will have 0 or we can say that this whole equation is equal to 0 right so now this is quadratic equation we can solve this quadratic equation using calculator right so we will use uh, this equation mode Right, and now in this equation mode, we can use this third equation, which is the quadratic equation. So now we have to put the coefficient of this t square, which is minus 16.1. Then the coefficient of this t2, uh, this is minus 11.412. 
and then the constant which is plus 4. So, this gives us two values of T2, one is negative and the other one is positive. So, time cannot be negative. So, we will take this value which is 0 0.257, right. So, T2 equals to 0 0.257 second. So, now we can find the total time that the suitcase will take from A to C, right. Total time will be equal to T1 plus T2. Right, so T1 is 1.219 plus T2 is 0 0.257, 1.219 plus 0 0.257. So, this gives me 1.476 second, 1.476 seconds. And now, we can find the distance of the, the final location of the briefcase from this particular wall right which is equal to r so we can find that r by using this equation a so then r will be equal to 22.824 cos of 30 times the t2 which is 0 0.257 so 22.824 cos of 30 multiply by 0 0.257 so this gives me uh, 5.09 or we can say that it is approximately 5.08 feet. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this problem solution. Uh, kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and like this video if you people want me to continue uh, this effort and you people want me to solve such more problems related to engineering dynamics.